Hello, I'm Evan Brand, functional medicine practitioner. Today we're talking about migraines. When I first started out my practice, I worked out of a chiropractor's office. I'll never forget the first lady that came into the chiropractic office with migraine headaches. I took one look at her and I could just tell she was having food sensitivities. She had some skin issues going on. She had fingernail problems. She had hair problems. Her hair was very thin. Her hair was falling out. She was overweight. I knew there were some issues with insulin and blood sugar and food sensitivities. So I said, ma'am, here's what we're gonna do. 30 day diet protocol. I gave her my diet plan. She followed it. She came back in the office a few weeks later and she said, this is the first time in 20 years I haven't had migraines every day. And she was on all these prescription drugs for migraine headaches, which didn't work and it cost her a ton of money. The diet changes were essentially free except paying a little bit of extra money for higher quality organic produce. And all of a sudden she's free from headaches and pain also. And then the, the chiropractor who I worked for, he said, Evan, you've got to stop fixing all these people. He had good intentions, but he said, man, he said, you're going to put me out of business because now instead of this lady coming in every week for chiropractic adjustments to get rid of the pain for a day or two, now she doesn't have to come in except for once every six weeks for a kind of a general adjustment. I said, man, that's root cause medicine. So obviously this is why I parted ways and then went on my own practice. So enough of the backstory. Let's get into this. So number one, I mean, look at the word migraine. What do you see in there? You see the word grain. It's in there. So of course, grains and gluten are gonna be one of the biggest causes, one of the biggest culprits. When you're eating gluten, regardless of whether you're celiac, I could care less if you say, oh, Evan, I've been tested for gluten sensitivity. I don't care if you've been tested. Here's the deal. It's gonna cause those tight junctions to separate in the gut lining. That's creating intestinal permeability, also known as leaky gut. That's from gluten, no matter what. No matter whether you think you're sensitive, whether you test to be sensitive or not, doesn't matter. Number two, it's gonna be dairy. This is a big one, pasteurized cheese, pasteurized milk, yogurts, etc. These are big problem foods for people with migraines. Most people should be removing these from the diet anyway, except for a good quality organic butter, you should be okay. Now eggs, this is another big one. That was a big one for me. I had migraine headaches and it was due to eggs and avocados. And I had to remove both of those for six weeks and then add them back in and all of a sudden, hey, no migraines anymore. Peanuts, these are a big one. This is not a nut, this is a legume. There's a lot of issues with inflammation inside the body caused from peanuts. There's a big problem with processing the peanuts and preserving them, making sure they're not exposed to aflatoxins and other types of fungal problems due to the processing and the storing of the nuts, the peanuts, so not a good food to have. Hormones, so hormonal imbalances. When you have issues with estrogen and progesterone, especially for females listening, this is a big problem. You've got to get this tested and you've got to get this addressed. You've got to fix the underlying hormonal problems if they're there. Bioidentical creams may or may not be necessary. You may be able to use herbs and other root cause medicine to fix hormonal problems. So you might not automatically have to go on hormones. Number six, poor sleep. That's an easy one. I used to work third shift. So if you've got sleep problems, you've got swing shift, you've got night shift, you're just not sleeping good because you've got a little baby that wakes you up at night, which was an issue for my wife and I. Now our baby's sleeping better. Poor sleep, that'll do a number to you because poor sleep affects hormones, right? And then poor sleep also affects your body's ability to handle certain foods you're reactive to. So your body's healing up in the middle of the night. If you're poor sleep, you're gonna have hormone issues, diet issues, etc. Lastly, B vitamins and minerals. So some of the B is in Bravo vitamins. Some of your minerals such as magnesium, which is highly depleted during times of stress. 80% plus, I bet it's 95%, but all the research I can find is 80% of people have magnesium deficiency. So that's one quick, easy fix that we can talk about. Let's go over here to our solution. So we talked about the diet. I'm gonna definitely start you out with an AIP diet for 30 days. Hopefully you can read the green. I know it's a little bit lighter color, but autoimmune paleo diet. So that's gonna be no grains, that's gonna be no dairy, that's gonna be no eggs, no peanuts of course, but no nuts as well no chocolate, there's a few other caveats. So check out my other videos for autoimmune paleo or just look up AIP, 30 days, that's gonna be your protocol for migraines. Number two, we've got supplementation. So we talked about that. Magnesium is gonna be the most highly rated supplement for migraines. I'll put a link below for my formula called Calm Clarity. It's a special form of magnesium called magnesium threonate, T-H-R-E-O-N-A-T-E, forgot the A. 3 and 8, that's a special form of magnesium. It crosses the blood-brain barrier. 
very helpful for PTSD, stress, anxiety, migraine headaches, sleep, relaxation, and on and on. Testing, so we've got to get tested. We've got to test your adrenal hormones. We've got to test your gut and look for parasite infections because that could be causing a leaky gut problem, therefore causing migraines because you've got these undigested food particles entering the bloodstream. Boom, 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 migraines. Uh, four, adrenal protocol. Could be low adrenal function. Everyone's stressed out. Everyone's angry. I don't know what the deal is. People are just crazy. And so adrenal protocols are for me a standard protocol for almost everyone, some type of adaptogenic herbs. Check out my other videos on adrenals, but supporting adrenals is gonna be huge. A GI detox. Typically don't like the word detox, but when you're talking about parasites, candida, fungus, mold, bacterial overgrowth, SIBO, all of these different problems affect the gut, causing leaky gut, causing you to react to foods, causing migraines, so it's all linked. Number six, liver detox, same thing. If your liver's overburdened because you've got a bunch of gut bugs creating trash, the liver needs some support. I've got a formula that I'll also link below called liver synergy, and that's a combination of medicinal mushrooms like reishi and cordyceps, also N-acetylcysteine, which is a glutathione precursor. This means it helps to create glutathione, which is your liver's master detoxification hormone, which gets depleted during chronic stress. So you've got to fix that. And then number seven, hey, this, is, this one's free. No supplements required, sleep. So get to bed if you have a normal daytime schedule. Get to bed by 10 p.m. Get up when the sun comes up, you know, 10 to seven, 10 to six. That's a great routine. But staying up till midnight on your iPad, that's got to stop. So I hope this helps. If you'd like to reach out, schedule a consult. You can click on screen, and I look forward to helping you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.